There's clouds outside. But who cares? It's time for Stat Quest. Stat Quest. Hello, I'm Josh Starmer, and welcome to Stat Quest. Today we're going to talk about statistical power, and it's going to be clearly explained. Note this Stat Quest assumes that you are already familiar with p values. If not, check out the quests. This stat quest also assumes that you are already familiar with the normal distribution. If not, check out the quest. Let's start with two distributions. The one on the left represents the weights of mice on a special diet. And the one on the right represents the weights of mice eating normal mouse food. Since there's only a little bit of overlap, it's pretty easy to see the difference between these two diets. Most of the mice on the special diet weigh less than the mice on the normal diet. And if we collect a small set of measurements from the special diet, and another small set of measurements from the normal diet, and plot these points on a graph and compare their means, then, in this case, we'll get a p-value equal to 0 0.0004. And this small p-value, less than 0 0.05, would cause us to correctly reject the null hypothesis that both sets of data came from the same distribution. In other words, if this distribution, which is somewhere between the special and normal diets, said, All, all data, data comes, comes from, from me. me. Then, the small p-value would say, in a loud and confident voice, I reject your hypothesis. If we repeated this experiment a bunch of times, there's a high probability that each statistical test will correctly give us a small p-value. In other words, there is a high probability that the null hypothesis that all of the data came from the same distribution will be correctly rejected. But every once in a while, we will get something like this, where the data overlap. And when this happens, we will get a large p-value, greater than 0 0.05. And that means that even though we know the data came from two different distributions, we cannot correctly reject the null hypothesis that all of the data comes from the same distribution. So the large p-value says, in a very small and meek voice, Dang, I can't reject the null hypothesis. That said, because these distributions are so far apart, and there is so little overlap, the probability of correctly rejecting the null hypothesis is high. Power is the probability that we will correctly reject the null hypothesis. Alternatively, you could say that power is the probability that we will correctly get a small p-value. In this example, because we have a high probability of correctly getting a small p-value and rejecting the null hypothesis, we have a large amount of power. Bam! Note, if there was no difference between the special diet and the normal diet, and they both shared the same distribution, and we collected one set of measurements for mice on the special diet, and one set of measurements for mice on the normal diet, then the null hypothesis that both datasets came from the same distribution would be true. In this case, there is no such thing as correctly rejecting the null hypothesis. So the concept of power, the probability that we will correctly reject the null hypothesis, doesn't apply in this situation. Small bam. In contrast, if the special diet wasn't very good at helping mice lose weight, but it still made a difference, then, even though there is a lot of overlap, we have two distinct distributions. And that means power, the probability that we correctly reject the null hypothesis, applies.
if we were to weigh three mice on the special diet and three mice on the normal diet and plot these points on a graph and compare their averages, then, in this case, we will get a p-value equal to 0.34. That means we will fail to reject the null hypothesis that both groups come from the same distribution. This is a bummer, because in this case, we know the data comes from two different distributions. And when we repeat this many times, most of the time we will get a large p-value and fail to reject the null hypothesis. However, every once in a while, we will get something like this, where the data do not overlap. And we will correctly get a small p-value. When this happens, even though the null hypothesis says, All, all data, data comes, comes from, from me. me! The small p-value will say, in a loud and confident voice, I reject the null hypothesis. So, out of all these tests, this was the only one that gave us a p-value small enough that we correctly rejected the null hypothesis. And that means when there is a lot of overlap between the two distributions and we have a small sample size, we have a relatively low power. Medium BAM! The good news is that we can always increase power by increasing the number of measurements we collect. And a power analysis will tell us how many measurements we need to collect to have a good amount of power. Shameless self-promotion. We'll talk more about how and why we can increase power in the stat quest on power analyses. BAM! In summary, power is the probability that we will correctly reject the null hypothesis. When we have two distributions that have very little overlap, we will have a lot of power because there is a high probability that we will correctly reject the null hypothesis. However, when the two distributions overlap a lot, and if we have a small sample size, we will have a small amount of power. However, if we want more power, we can increase the sample size. Lastly, a power analysis will tell us how many measurements to collect to have a good amount of power. Double BAM! Hooray! We've made it to the end of another exciting stack quest. If you like this stack quest and want to see more, please subscribe. And if you want to support stack quest, consider contributing to my Patreon campaign, becoming a channel member, buying one or two of my original songs or a t-shirt or a hoodie, or just donate. The links are in the description below. Alright, until next time, quest on!